don't be surprised if on or around the full moon in Pisces, your mind's eye starts wandering to themes that took place in 2017. Being a stickler, I'm saying August, September, October. I'm looking at an event that you would categorize as quote unquote faded or a long awaited wish come true. It was met with celebration and joy. So this is a significant event or the beginning of an important relationship that took place. However, this may have ended because of escapist driven, co escapist -driven coping mechanisms. We're talking addiction, alcohol, drugs, anything that allows us to slither away from reality of the relationship and of the world. In fact, this thing, be it a dream job, a dream relationship, may have acted as a vehicle for you to escape your own pain at that time. At the bare minimum, it helped you escape the boring and the mundane. It feels like a soulful spiritual awakening. And this is where the push and pull relationship comes, where Virgo wants you to be here now and heal you right here, right now. But Pisces is still unearthing all of the pain that ensues as a consequence of separation after merging, overindulgence, following false hope and false beliefs. The difference is in 2017, this energy happened on a new moon in Virgo, whereas right now this energy presents itself on a full moon in Pisces. So we're seeing everything come full circle and we may walk away from this full moon feeling like we have the long awaited closure we've been looking for. I have heard people say that Mercury going retrograde in Virgo is going to exaggerate or elongate this process. I respectfully don't have the same opinion. I think that we are using this experience as fuel. We are wanting to gain context. So it's something that we are looking at, that we are collecting data on, but in effort to transform our relationship to our future. We are no longer banking on wishful thinking. We are banking on wish fulfillment. The full moon is about what happened with who and where. Mercury retrograde is how did we respond to it and how are we going to respond to similar situations or feelings right here, right now. Good luck.